Rich, welcome. In the current uncertain economic environment, how should CEOs be approaching talent development? I think we're living through a period of massive change. And in those kinds of environments, even more than in the past, the caliber of people that you bring into the organization that you're able to retain, and equally importantly, how you're able to develop them and get them to work together in different and ever-changing ways becomes fundamental to the ability to drive value in the business. So in any environment, at, go back 50 years, people, CEOs will say people are their most important asset. I heard that when I first joined another company, you know, 38 years ago. But I think in the world we're living in right now, the priority just keeps going up because we need our people to be able to adapt to the world we're living in that will keep changing faster and faster. So you're seeing a difference now, do you think, in the way that leaders are prioritizing talent over, say, cost transformation or compared to? I think we've seen a substantial difference. I mean, let's be clear, we've been reading extremely negative headlines almost every day about the economic outlook and uncertainty and inflation and recession for about a year now, a little more actually, and yet the unemployment rate is at historically low levels. Yes, there have been some layoffs in a few sectors. We hear about the tech sector all the time. But I think across many, many industries, companies worked so hard to rebuild their talent base after COVID and have seen the challenges of developing people and changing and helping their people to change that they're reluctant to do things that will undermine trust and undermine their ability to grow in the medium term. The cost pressures are substantial. I do think we'll see some companies and some sectors um, taking a more conservative posture, whether it's on the hiring side or maybe in some cases workforce reductions. But I think that they will be more reluctant to go too far on that because of the times we're living in right now. In your experience and in any economic times, how important is it to have the right people's strategy? Oh, I think, again, it's fundamental across all periods. It's just, I think leaders have to recognize just how different that strategy needs to be right now. That to quote Satya Nadella, we've gone from a know-it-all world to a learn-it-all world. I think that's what we're seeing in a world of more data and AI. We're seeing a world that requires more rapid change and response. We're seeing adaptive organizations being not just a nice thing to have, but actually essential to sustain success. And people underpin that and therefore robust people strategies, how you attract, develop, retain talent, how you deploy people, how you get collaboration across the enterprise, and how you allow people and technology to work together in ways that will continue to change because technology capabilities will continue to grow. Those elements just take on such a heightened importance for leaders today. Rich, thank you so much. Pleasure.